Tuesday, Wednesday, is it Wednesday? It's Wednesday. Wednesday. It's Wednesday and we are just leaving the hotel and we're gonna take the tea today. We took the tea yesterday and we're very successful. We asked for like help all along the way. The people here are so nice that it was totally fine and we met a lot of cool people so I totally recommend it. Don't drive a car to Boston. You'll get lost and can't find parking. It's a mess. So we're taking the tea again today. We're going to uh, BC, which is Boston College, and um, Harvard. So that's going to be fun. And uh, you, of course, are coming along. So welcome to day four. <laughs> OK, bye. We just finished our tour and we're gonna go get lunch. And yeah, it's really big and pretty. So, since we're going down here, we can probably catch the tea. Yeah? but I have a good story for you guys later once we're, we're down uh, back at the hotel. We're about to go on the tee to get home. We're not getting very good at this, but uh, yeah, we got to at least look at Harvard today and get a little tour. Um, not the one we were expecting, but uh, it was good. So I'll tell you all later, but yeah, that's what's up. Hey guys, so it is the end of day four and today I visited Boston College and Harvard, but I'm just gonna be really talking about Boston College. I'll explain more about Harvard in a second. But um, this is a pamphlet from Boston College, and basically um, it's a mid-sized university. It's got about 9,000 undergraduates, and um, it has an average of 13 to 1 um, as far as faculty to students, so actually student to faculty, so 13 students to 1 faculty member. So that's the same ratio as some of the bigger universities, so not as many professors. Um, classes seemed like they were a bit bigger than other schools um, that I'd looked at aside from the like big universities. And it has a acceptance rate of I believe like 20% but I'm gonna again have to look that up for you guys and put that down in the bottom area of the screen so yeah I don't know overall I thought that it was a beautiful campus it's very um, I guess regal or just very ornate um, although I didn't get the sense that like for some reason it didn't seem like actually old it seemed like new old like it was built to look old um, which I could be totally off base about. My mom and I were sitting there um, eating lunch on campus, and I we were just kind of talking about it and like the like just the style of campus and stuff. And I was like, it it just slightly reminds me of Disneyland in that like it's kind of like I don't know like it gave me the sense of like an, not like an amusement park because like you go to these amusement parks and they're really pretty and stuff. Like sometimes like if they like create a castle or something, but it doesn't look like real. Like I don't know, it wasn't the same kind of pretty as some of the like universities like Tufts that were just like really old and pretty but here is a picture of it um it's just it's super like grandiose and I don't know it was it was a nice um campus and I I thought it was like I liked how they had a big service aspect and um it is has a Jesuit affiliation and I'm not super religious so um it was it I don't know I was kind of concerned about that going into it but it seemed like they didn't like, it wasn't an issue if you weren't Catholic. Um, you know, they didn't, like, discriminate or anything based on your religion. Well, not discriminate, but it wasn't like you really had to be Catholic to fit in there. But at the same time, they do have an emphasis on religion, which was something just to be aware of, I guess. Um, but, yeah, I, I thought it was nice. Um, they had a lot of requirements, a lot of core requirements. They required something like 50 classes um, before you could graduate, like, 50 specific um 
classes on top of your like major so I don't know I didn't really like that everything there seemed very structured um, and students didn't seem to have as much freedom as other universities to choose the classes that they wanted um, and while, sorry, there's a fire engine or something going by, um, and although you could get out of a lot of those through APs, or at least I could because I've taken APs at my school, um, it still seemed very structured and, I don't know, it just kind of, it almost felt a little bit uptight, but it was a beautiful campus and the people there were really nice, um, the tour guide was nice and... I don't know, it, it seems like it's definitely a good school and when you go there, like, you know, they will make good things happen for you, but I don't know, I didn't, I wasn't like in love with it, like I was in love with some of the other campuses um, and the other, other schools, but it wasn't bad. Um, so I don't know, it was just kind of like, an, eh, I'll probably still apply, but I'm not gonna like, I don't know, it's not one of the ones that I was like, oh my god, I love this or anything. So that was Boston College. Um, and then Harvard is a funny story. So basically, the world just does not want me going to Harvard. Like, it's ridiculous. Day one, we attempted to go, and we literally just drove around what was Harvard University, going like, what, is this Harvard? Where's Harvard? And not, like, understanding. And we couldn't find parking to go. And then that night, we were going to go up um, and just, like, walk around it. And we went up, and it starts raining, and we get lost, and it was just, like, a mess. So we, like, came home, and we're like, forget it. And then today... We came and we took a, um, we thought we were leaving plenty of time, we left like an hour to get from uh, Boston College to Harvard, but the like T line that we took went really, really slow and there were like a bunch of high school students that had just gotten on from like some school that had gotten out, I don't know, but like there was a problem and like the bus driver had to pull over and it was like everybody moved to the back and it was just like a mess and so it ended up taking way longer than expected um, and then we got to Harvard and we'd like missed the beginning of the information session and we were already like 10 minutes late and we couldn't find the building like for the life of us I still don't know where it is um and so we're like forget it we're just gonna like we're gonna miss the like uh, information session if that's okay we'll just go on the campus tour because I mean it's Harvard yeah like it would be amazing to go there but I really shouldn't get my hopes up or anything um so, I don't know. So, we didn't get to go to the information session, and then we talked to someone. He was like, you know, go to the this statue. Like, that's where the tour is going to start. And we're like, okay. Like, why didn't the pamphlet say anything about the statue? But like, okay, not pamphlet. Information online. What am I saying? So, we get to the statue, and it's like, it'll start at 3. So, we're waiting there, and it's like 2.50, and this guy comes by. And, like, he has, I don't know, he's just getting together, like, a group of people. And so, we go over, and we're like, is this a tour? And he was like, yeah. And so, we go on this whole tour. And I was just kind of like, this is very touristy, like, he's just going around being like, this place has this famous person, and, you know, so-and-so was doing this here then, and I don't know, I was just kind of like, this isn't telling me anything about the school, or why I should go here, or like, anything like that. And I was just kind of like, like, okay. So we get to the end of the tour, and the guy is like, we didn't collect money up front, because we wanted people to be able to trickle in, like, blah, blah, blah. And then we look, and he, so he puts it on his hat and starts asking for money. And we look on the, like, map that he gave us, and it's, like, public Harvard tours, and we're like, face palm, of course, like, of course we would get stuck on this, like, random tour that we didn't mean to go on and have to pay, like, 20 bucks to, like, go on this tour that we didn't want to go on in the first place. And it was just, it was really funny. Um, so I got to see Harvard through this very cheesy tour that this guy did. Um, but whatever. Harvard was beautiful. Um, I just, I'm in love with how the campus looks. It's gorgeous, all the buildings and everything. Um, and I really would have liked to be able to see the admissions, um, information and things like that, because, I mean, I would consider, like, applying. I'm going to apply to a couple of Ivy Leagues just as reach school. So, I would consider applying to Harvard. Like, I don't know, I just feel like it's almost silly to be like, oh yes, I would apply to Harvard, because it's Harvard. Um, but if I'd gone on the admissions tour and stuff, I think it would have been interesting to see, you know, how their... I don't know, information sessions differ or com like compare to other universities that don't have this like whole reputation going for them. Um, so I don't know, I was actually just texting one of my friends who's going on a similar college whirlwind tour and she was like, yeah, I don't know, like from what I got from Harvard's tour was just kind of like they just mainly, mainly did historical things, like they weren't really trying to convince you to go and I was kind of assuming that they would do that just because they have such a reputation that they don't feel the need to like entice students, like it's Harvard. Enough said. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know, but Harvard was beautiful. I loved the campus, but I don't really have much to actually say about it aside from a funny story. So that was the end of I head down to Brown tomorrow and then Dartmouth on Friday. So that is going to be...
my last video in this, um, I guess, series. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was helpful, maybe, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye, guys.